Hey guys, it is Pastor Max, and here's Sharice, and here's Haddon, and uh, Ruby's right there scrounging for some <laughs> some food like she always does. She knows she can always count on Haddon for food. Um, what we wanted to do tonight was just invite you into the family devotion that we do with Haddon. What we've been doing is we've been, uh, what we started is the New City Catechism. Now sometimes when we hear the word catechism, that can bring us back to um our childhood of, of the Catholic or Lutheran Church, but catechisms are actually a really good thing. Um, what catechisms are are questions and answers, specifically around theological topics. And so what we're going to do is go through question one, because that's where we're starting. That's what we're, we're starting with. And we just want to in invite you into that. So Sharice is going to read the question um, and then answer. And then there's a little song that goes with it. And then what I'm going to do is show us where in Scripture we get the question and answer from. And then a little devotion that we've been doing with Haddon. So Sharice, why don't you go ahead okay. and start? <clears throat> All right, Haddon, question one is what is our only hope in life and death? Do you remember the answer? Yeah? What, what is, is it? it? What is it? Go ahead. <laughs> that we are not our own, but belong to God. 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 Are you ready for the song? Do you want to hear the song? Okay. Let's play the song. We all have to sing. Yes. I'm trying to get it close. <laughs> Remember, Haddon, what verse, uh, what scripture this is taken from? This is taken from Romans 14, verses 7 and 8, which says, For none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we, we are, are the Lord's. Lord. Tim Keller says, at one point in his writings, John Calvin lays out three essences of what it means to live the Christian life. He says that he could make us a list of the commandments we should be keeping, or a list of all the character traits we should be exhibiting. But instead... He wants to boil it down to the basic motive and the basic principle of what it means to live the Christian life. The basic motive is that God sent his son to save us by grace and to adopt us into his family. So now, because of that grace, in our gratitude, we want to resemble our father. We want the family resemblance. We want to look like our savior, Haddon. We want to please our Father. The basic principle then is this, that we are not to live to please ourselves. We are not to live as if we belong to ourselves. And that means several things. It means, first of all, we are not determined 
for ourselves what is right or wrong. We give up the right to determine that, and we rely wholly on God's word. We also give up the operating principle that we usually use in day-to-day -day life. We stop putting ourselves first, and we always put first what pleases God and what loves our neighbor. It also means that we are to have no part of our lives that is immune from self-giving. We are supposed to give ourselves wholly to Him, body and soul. And it means we trust God through thick and thin, through the good times and the bad times, in life and death, Haddon. We trust God. And how do the motive and the principle relate? Because we're saved by grace. We are not our own. A woman once said to me, if I knew I was saved because of what I did, if I contributed to my salvation, then God couldn't ask anything God couldn't ask anything from me because I'd make a contribution. But if I'm saved by grace and sheer grace, then there's nothing he cannot ask of me. And that's right. You're not your own. You were bought with a price. Some years ago, I heard a Christian speaker say, how can you come to grips with someone who has given himself utterly for you without you giving yourself utterly for him? Jesus gave himself wholly for us. So now, we must give ourselves wholly to Him. Here's our prayer. Can we pray? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Christ, our hope in life and death, we cast ourselves on Your merciful, fatherly care. You love us because we are Your own. We have no good apart from You, and we could ask for no greater gift than to belong to You. Amen. Amen. So this is our family devotion. We have been going through the New City Catechism, and we will continue to do that with you guys throughout the coming weeks. It is it is short, and um, as you saw, Haddon just eats, um, and we, we just want to be able to speak the Word of God to him and pray with him and talk about Scripture just from a young age, so this is just natural to him. And so we hope that you enjoyed a little time with us. We're glad that Haddon, that Haddon stuck in it um, and that Ruby didn't take too much food from Haddon or that Haddon actually didn't give too much food to Ruby because that's how it usually goes. Um, but that is Haddon's signal for that he's done and he wants to be out and he wants to go and run around and play. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. Bye. Thanks.